Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 9. Inside this video session guys, we will see about registering a navigation menu to our custom theme. As we are getting guys multiple comments to make WP Mega menus over this course. But we are not going to learn about WP Mega menus inside this WooCommerce theme development tutorial. We will make a separate course for that playlist. It is because WP Mega Menus in WordPress is good and exciting course, which is going to take about 20 to 30 videos to understand completely about the hierarchical structure to handle about the custom layout of Mega Menus. Inside that, we will see all about putting simple like anchor links putting hyperlinks with images as well as putting hyperlinks with description. So this is going to be a good course. So we will see WP Mega Menus development in a separate course. Inside this, we will see the simplest as what we are going to take. If I back to browser, now inside this custom theme, right now there is no navigation menus we have registered. If we go to admin panel, and as we can see that currently we have activated our simple basic theme. Now inside this theme, if we go to appearance section, now we have no option for menus. If I click on this 2019, activating that theme and after activating this 2019, we are getting several options like widgets, menus and so on. But when we activate our simple basic theme, we are not getting any menus option. Why? Because we need to register that. So if I back to our code editor, open up about the functions.php file, as we discussed that functions.php file is the main functional file of any WordPress theme. Now inside this, we are going to make a function. So simply if I write one line comment for this function, attach or let's say add assets file now inside this we are going to make another comment let's say register nav menu and inside this let's say function simple basic theme this is our directory name and let's say nav underscore config and we are going to bind this function with the action hook called add action and inside this we have got after setup theme so this is after setup theme this is our action hook which automatically triggers or runs after theme initialization so after theme initialization over admin panel over WordPress, we want to trigger this method what we have defined here. And inside this, we are going to use a WordPress function to register our navigation menu. So we are going to use that function. So here, let's say register underscore nav underscore menus. Inside this, we can pass or let's say for a custom theme, we can support multiple menus location so here inside this we need to pass our value into key value pairs something we need to write menu id and here we need to write our menu name this is also known as location underscore id so inside this simply let's say we need to pass our first id so let's say theme underscore primary menu underscore id or simply if i remove this id from here so theme primary menu and let's say that simple basic theme and here let's say primary menu now if we save this change now successfully we have used the action hook to attach this function and we are going to call this function after setting our theme.
and successfully we have defined a location of our menu something with the name of primary menu simple basic theme so if I get rid of this S B and this is T something for simple basic theme now if we save this change back to browser go to admin panel reload this page and as we can see that successfully we have a menus sub menu inside this appearance tab now if we click on this menus go here let's create a menu something let's say primary menu click on create menu and inside this menu right now we have two pages so we are going to add this home page or let's say sample page to this primary menu and we need to attach this like menu what we have created to anywhere inside our theme location so as we know that currently our theme supports a single location that is primary menu called simple basic theme and we can find this here we can see that the settings appears automatically when we have registered via function.php it means that we can register multiple menus location via our custom theme let's say that in our custom theme the menu locations what we have as the top navigation menu as the primary menu in the footer we will have a different menu known as footer menu or secondary menu in the left hand sidebar we have a sidebar inside that sidebar we have a third location for the menu placement called sidebar menu so we can create multiple locations so again if I put a comma here let's say that theme underscore footer menu let's say footer menu simple basic theme and again we can create let's say theme sidebar underscore menu and here let's say sidebar we can make it as left sidebar menu and here simple basic theme so currently our custom theme what we have created so far supports three locations of placing menu now if we save all these changes go here reload this page now as we can see that we have three different display location of this menu called primary menu footer menu as well as left sidebar menu so if we click on this primary menu click on save menu now successfully created our first menu inside this now if we go to our front end reload this page now we are not getting our navigation items what we have added like inside this we have like home page sample page but we are not getting any pages here so to display our menus what we have created inside the admin panel by means of using a WordPress function called WP nav menu so if we back to editor now let's say that go to index.php and inside this if we want to display go to header.php and here we have a nav so I am going to comment of all these lines instead of that the menus what we have created inside our admin panel we are going to call that so for that we need to use a WordPress function called WP nav menu inside this we have to pass array of parameters so first all about let's say theme location it means that we have as we can see we have registered three different locations and the menu what we have created called primary menu we have registered and created at this primary menu SPT so what we have to do we have to copy this ID let's say location ID go here and assigning to this key now if we save this change go here reload this front end and as we can see that we have now the two pages like home and sample page these are the two pages what we have assigned inside this our primary menu let's say that in our custom theme we have a sidebar so if we go in text.php inside this content area let's say that we have a section 
for our sidebar so this is something left hyphen sidebar and inside this we have some menus items so we want to add some menu items from admin panel and display at this location so as we know that already we have registered a left sidebar menu so copy that go inside this index.php and what I will do simply use PHP tag WP nav menu inside this passing in array and simply let's say theme underscore location and here we have the location ID now if we save all these changes go here reload this page so right now if we go here let's create the settings for our left sidebar menu so I'm going to create some custom links so let's say that left menu 1 click on add to menu here let's say putting a hash symbol let's say left menu 2 pressing add to menu clicking another link let's say left menu 3 add to menu now what I will do I am to create another menu because this is the primary menu what we have created with these two pages but we want to create another menu so let's say theme left sidebar menu this is the name you can create your own custom name here create menu now what I will do and I think that actually we have created all the custom links now disappears because we have reloaded our page without saving menu so again we need to create that create a hash symbol let's left menu 1 add to menu left menu 2 add to menu and simply let's say left menu 3 add to menu so currently we have three pages means three custom links what we have created and this time we are going to save to our left sidebar click on save menu back to our front end reload this page and as we can see that this is the primary menu what we have developed and this is our left sidebar menu it means that in our theme we have three different types of locations where we can place our created menu called primary footer and the left sidebar so successfully guys inside this video we understood about that is how can we register our navigation menus as well as display at front end section so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.